Hey guys, welcome back to the Hat in Time multiplayer. When we last left off, we had just op unlocked the Dead Bird movie studio and defeated Mafia Boss in Mortal Kombat. So, we're going to go ahead and check out Dead Bird movie studio. And I am going to preface this by saying that I had a little bit of a recording issue, unfortunately. So I did get the first hourglass from Dead Bird studio. We're going to go back and do the mission but that is why it's already checked off and it's saying time be secured and all that fun stuff yeah I uh, started recording this one and ran into issues as one does but uh, you know working out the kinks I think we got a lot of some of the bugs most of the bugs worked out you know you're always bound to run into some stuff but Sha let us experience dead bird studios one of my favorite chapters I absolutely love this chapter with the conductor and DJ Grooves! This movie studio is too big for the both of us, DJ Grooves. The movie should be made by real birds. You moon penguins are just gonna write some loud, noisy drivel. If I wanted a bunch of picnics to dance around while on birdseed, ha! I'd visit my grandchildren. <laughs> nonsense, darling, nonsense. You Owl Express birds are just gonna record another boring train-related western. You've done so for the last ten years, darling. What? No, we haven't, your buffoon! Conductor, darling, this year we'll be winning the annual Bird Movie Award, as our new movie props will bring in the audiences. These shiny things fell from the sky. They will light our movie sets and fill them with glimmer. Oh, yeah? Well, this time around, we're also spicing it up with our newest movie prop. This guy down over here is just barely holding on for dear life. Like, just don't let go! Just don't let go! These hourglass thingies will be the grand jewel in our train heist western. What the what? You no good, dirty picnics! You copied our props! Come on, Reggie, you got this! I would never, darling. Clearly, you're the one who took inspiration in my flashy new props. They're occasionally struggling, but the penguins are doing a lot better holding it up. Oh, that does it! Get out of here with ya! I've got a movie to record! Fine by me, darling. But we'll be the ones who win the annual Bird Movie Award. Mark my word. Oh yeah! Let's see how well you do when you can't get into the reception. <laughs> oh wait, uh... Shutting the picnics inside the studio will force them to work harder. <laughs> All right, time to go, Owls. Let's make our killer movie. Oh, and uh, receptionist, can you please close off that vent already? I don't want the smell of penguin to come anywhere near my crew. I mean, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, sorry. The conductor has said only birds are allowed past here. And he specifically said no penguins Yeah, I heard him, but you should, you know, just let me no through. I have no idea why. I'm just a Seven passenger five. on his train. Whatever gets us back on the train faster. I wanted to ask this reception guy a question, but he hasn't acknowledged me at all. Uh, but now I've been standing here for so long, it'd be awkward to start up a conversation. I really suck at interacting with other birds. Huh? You want that movie prop they carried in? Are you the kind of person that sells movie props on eBird? Uh, hi there. I'm an express owl which really just means I ride the Owl Express that the conductor runs. I need to ride the train to get to work, 
but the conductor makes unexpected stops all the time. I have no idea why we're at a movie studio. I need to be at work in 15 minutes. I don't really get this feud between the conductor and DJ Grooves. Like, why does a train operator and a disco guy want to compete? We're all birds here, right? Shouldn't we cooperate? I don't get why your vest is so goddamn long. I don't know. I guess cooperating is kind of like stupid. Skirt. I guess. Yeah. Just ignore me. You there, bad seller. Not everything I sell is of value. I also sell terrible badges. And yet, people buy them anyway. For the challenges. <laughs> Alright, let's see. No bonking would be nice, but I don't have the money. I might be back later. Don't tell anyone this, but before DJ Grooves became fascinated by movies, he actually ran a nightclub. I know. Crazy, right? Who would have thought? Hey! Watch where you're going, buddy! Don't get near DJ Grooves, aight? DJ Grooves means a lot to us, so we gotta protect him. Don't you think of anything, yeah? I'll be watching you, buddy. Eyes on you. I'm right here. Any day. Let's go. You're no bird, eh? Then what brings you to Dead Bird Studio? Before you answer, you should watch DJ Grooves' latest movie. It's real good, and I'm not being paid to say that. Honest. I've seen all of DJ Grooves' movies. Call yourself a fan. Hey, little girl! You should join our DJ Grooves fan club. You get a membership card and everything. It's a real good deal for any movie-going bird. You see my fingers here? You see how they're snapping? That is the universal bird sign for beat it. Ooh, the Michael Jackson song? I love oh, it! No. My fingers have taken a liking to you. Look at them go. Snap, snap, snap. You catch my drift? No, I only know Thriller. Glasses. Double glasses. All right. Now it's time to go. We're off on a sneaky, sneaky adventure. No he oh, 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 guys, it says no humans allowed, only birds allowed, so, uh, end of mission, sorry. Sign said I can't. Nah, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna do it, 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 and the I was gonna try now, then I ever sinned, but... It doesn't even matter, I can't even get pie. That joke ruined! Completely ruined! Ruined everything. All I can do is sandfisher my way into the vent. Oh. Already racking up a whole trespassing charge. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Alright, so we are after those hourglasses. Get all Metal Gear Solid. Straight your back, darling. Your actors, not janitors. Yeah. Let's make this movie happen. I will in position. Dun, dun. Action. Dun. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Got some yarn up there. I don't know how to get to that though. <gasps> 1500 for assaulting a cactus. Dun, dun. Oh, there's my way up. Looks like some ice yarn. I need eight to make that hat. Alrighty. Oh no, 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 no! 
No! Don't leave me! Well, <clears throat> that didn't go as well as initially planned there. Second time to the charm. After all, I've got two glasses. Owl harassment. Can you just go ahead and put the other one. Wait, no, damn it. I'm getting more owl harassment. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Smooth as could be. Let's keep it going. Don't worry about me. I said, don't worry about me. Oh, no. There's nothing up here. Why did I come up here? I don't know why I came up there. Alright. Can I make that? Yeah. Let's try it. Ooh, I got it. I got it. Let's go. Nowhere near his line of sight. This is hogwash. Simply hogwash. Drop on ya. You got dropped on. Well, your solid bit has to be in a later uh, mission, because that's twice that I have not seen it now. Magnificent. Stunning. This trophy is everything I desire. On the shelf in my living room. Of course, this big trophy is just a plastic replica. The actual trophy is really tiny. Oh my, oh my, what is that I see? Is it true inner beauty? An innocent soul with a heart of gold? No, my friend. Two pairs of sunglasses. Oh 
no, it's just a little girl. Hello. Oh, wait. You're not a penguin. <laughs> That's good. I could use some non-penguin company around here, as all my penguins are frankly terrible actors. Here's the biz. I need your help. I'm on a terrible losing streak, and I just have to win this next annual bird movie award. There's no doubt I absolutely must have you as the star. Here, let me take care of this. We need to give you a bird passport, darling. Step right over here. The most important part of a passport is the picture, darling. You have to look flashy and stunning. Step right over here. Let's take it. Okay, put on a smile and stand still, please. Don't move. Let's see how the picture turned out. <laughs> oh! Darling, you're not very photogenic, huh? We've got to fix this ugly mugshot up with some old-fashioned photo doctoring. Here, take these markers and turn yourself into the most stylish fat. Uh, we're not gonna do any. Perfect. Uh, Let's editing slide this to that. Into your passport, and here you go. One passport. All you have is essentially like <clears throat> MS Paint type of stuff with a joystick. And that is tedious and long to do anything worthwhile on that. Otherwise, it would just be solid colors. Alright. Passport for the Federal Union of Birds. I'm legally a bird now, I think. Yes. Wonderful, darling. Oh, just wonderful. Meet me at the movie set tomorrow and we'll make you a star. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, well, you, you know, just getting in and legally bird ship. Movie awards? That's fraud! Fraud! Hey, everyone! We've got a fraudster over here! Lighten up, know, Conductor. Oh. Where are my owl guards at? Oh, why are the owls so darn useless? Because they're just passengers on your train and not actually, like, people that work for you. Uh. Alright, listen here, lass. You're in big trouble. If you're helping crooked DJ Grooves rig the awards, and I can't take you to jail, then you've got to help me even the score. That's right. You've got to be the star of my movies, too. Here, hold our newest prop. Practice showing it off and bring it to my movie set tomorrow. You got that? Don't be late. All right, so yeah, this is uh, the reason why it is translucent like that. Like I was saying, I did this mission earlier, and the recording messed up. But this is the only hourglass that I got before um, the issue arose, and I restarted. Oh, rare sticker in Mafia Town. Might have to get that a little bit later. So I want to move on to the next mission. At Dead Bird Studios. But first, oh, I will show this. Let's see, so it's like a. I forget how to do the little belly flop. I might have to relearn that. She has like a, um. Like a journal after every timepiece there's a different little like log thing in the in the main room but I don't remember how to belly flop and I don't think I can do that yet I think it's something you learn throughout it, later in the game so we're just gonna go back to Dead Bird Studios All right. 
gonna start with DJ Grooves. Picture perfect. Chapter Battle of uh, our uh, yeah, this is the second chapter, so Battle of the Birds, starring DJ Grooves as the stylish mentor, Lil Girl as the mysterious diva, and Moon Penguins as the hungry public. Welcome to the first day of shooting, darling. We need to transform you into the biggest movie star the bird world has ever seen. You need to become a diva. That's why I've called for a press conference here on our moon set. You need to get out there in front of the cameras and electrify the public, darling. Get them really up and going for your movies. Once you've got them going crazy, Come back here and we'll show off our new prop. That's right. We'll unveil our new movie prop to the masses. All right. Oh, hi there. We just got to get everybody to come oh, on down. Penguin. Looks like it's endorsement time. All you penguins out there know my name. DJ Grooves. And I'm telling you, this young girl here is the next hot thing, guaranteed. Just look as she'll climb up this statue and rescue the poor puppy that has gotten stuck. Right, darling? Of course, I have to save the puppy. Alright. There we go. Look at that! She helped the puppy down safe and sound. Too bad it ran off and definitely didn't break into multiple pieces. That's exactly what happened. Only a diva I can get behind. Let it be known that this little girl is all about animals. Make sure you join her fan club, DJ Grooves. Out. Guy stunting in that car. Oh, he's whipping it. He's whipping it. It's like two wheels, two wheels, two wheels. Huh? Call, darling. Looks like it's endorsement time. Endorse me. All you penguins out there know my name, DJ Grooves, and I'm telling you, this young girl here is the next hot thing, guaranteed. Look at how street smart this diva is. She's standing in this sinister alleyway right next to some potential wrongdoers. Danger is her middle name, and she's not afraid to step outside of her comfort zone. Make sure you join her fan club, DJ Grooves, out. <laughs> they're no good, Nicks, because they're in there in the, in the, in the corner. Alright. I'm good at platforms. I'm really good at platformers. Oh, I see. I can go up here. Wow! Yarn! Brewing yarn. Oh, that's a little explosive potion. Please, disregard my twitchy behavior. My body has been to places that have left a permanent mark. Uh, ooh, that's a good one. Scooter badge. Photo op over there, and some yarn it looks like. Alright, gotta watch out for the electric bolts there. Oh, troll! I think that's my second ice yarn. 
So we are a fourth of the way to an ice hat. <laughs> They're just driving around on the roof. Not a care in the world, just going for a Sunday drive on the roof. There's a DJ Groove's opportunity for some fish. Looks like it's endorsement time. Oh jeez. Okay, okay. I have to mention this. Cooking show hosts have a terrible track record of getting angry and swearing on screen. Try not to use the P word, okay? Don't say P E C K. The conductor is old fashioned. He throws that word around a lot. It'll get him in trouble someday. Until then, let's keep our show clean. Hello, viewers! Even the biggest celebrities have me. <laughs> I'm just down in the and corner facing away the from them. All they see is the top of my hat. Now tell us, darling, what kind of condiments do you like on your tuna sandwiches? Mayo! Amazing! I bet that eating tuna sandwiches like that is probably how she keeps a slim figure! Take note, Penguin viewers. Make sure you join her fan club! DJ Grooves! Out. I wanted to say Peck, but yeah, that gives me... That Max Devenus! The audience is going crazy, darling! Come over here and show off our new stunner! Our new prop! All right, we got our second hourglass, or second hourglass of this particular area. This will be hourglass number six in total. So this is nice, just a little it's a heart. All right, these last two pits, and we'll go ahead on over there and. Get our just rewards. Avoiding all these crazy drivers. I mean, it was kind of cool to see whole boy one wheeling it, but they're all one wheeling it. They just have no regard for human life or penguin life. I love all the little stylistic details they do here. Like this little credit roll. We got the 2D uh, drawings of the people cheering. That was in uh, earlier there in the, in the game as well. Alright. So now it is time for the train mystery. Or the, uh, the Murder on Owl Express. Which, I have been looking forward to this mission. This is a very fun mission. So, let's get right on into it. Dun dun dun! Murder on the Owl Express, starring Conductor as the savvy train conductor. Some girl as Detective Useless, crows as car agents, and owls as, of course, owls. The entire aesthetic of this is just so much fun. Got this noir lighting. There's The, the nice slow jazz backing. Welcome back, lassie. Well, I haven't written the script for my next movie yet, so we're not recording. I'll call for you when the script is ready. Sure. Why, hello there, fellow owl. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of. Hello, fitting. fellow owl. As you can tell, I, I too am, am an owl, an express, express owl. 
I do oh, sorry. I didn't cool. mean to cut you off there, my friend. I. That's good that you are also an express owl, just like myself, a fellow express owl. From one owl to another, we can share details, yes? What is your uncle's sister's maiden name? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, Jimothy. Oh, it is. I see, I see. This is the kind of uncle's sister's maiden name I would expect from a fellow express owl. Well, you know, it is a very common uh, uncle's sister's maiden name, after all, for us express owls. Hello, fellow express owl. Do you care about security? I care about security a whole lot. Security is very important to me. Go on. You should not be going around telling information to strangers. It could be a security risk. But I just told some information to that other express owl over there. I can help your daily life become more secure. What is your favorite combination of letters and numbers? Uh, we're gonna go with four. Not 429, <laughs> as nonsense. Of course, 420. Blaze it. It's my password to I everything. I see. Is also my favorite combination of letters and numbers. It's a good combination of letters and numbers to have. Did you Hello. notice that there's suddenly a lot of crows on this train? They all gone on at the last stop. What are you talking about? All I've seen on this train are express cells. Honestly, you're the suspicious one if you ask me. I think you're the only one here who isn't an express owl. Speaking of, at which stop did you get on the train? Um, I got on to the stop at the stop. You know, right right before. So, don't 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 worry about it. What do you mean you fell from the sky? I didn't say that. I told you I got on at the stop. Did you know that having a pet helps improve self-confidence and relieve stress? Did you also know that pets can have pets? It is true. Unfortunately, us express owls are not allowed to have pets. It is a sacrifice we must make in the name of hooting. What are you talking about? I'm also an express owl, and I have the pets all the time. But if you had a pet, what do you think the name of your pet's childhood pet would be? The pet, the name of my, the, yeah. If I had a pet, what do you think the name of your pet's childhood pet would be? So my pet's pet's name. That would probably be... Pucker. <laughs> Is certainly an interesting name for a pet. Even for a pet's pet. Yes, who is an interesting yeah. <laughs> is an interesting name. On to the next room. Have you noticed all these crows around the place? You too. They keep asking for personal details, and I never know what to answer. Just tell them, you know, things. Oh, hello, fellow Express Owl. I am stuck on an advanced mathematical and scientific issue. Do you see this advanced formula on the blackboard? I cannot decipher it. Can you decipher the scientific formula for me? What does it say? Um... It says... Bow... To wow... Okay, so I can't do balls to wall. So I'll just do ball to wall. I don't know. I see. The solution is... It was obvious. Thank you, fellow Express Owl. I'm just happy and to help. Thank you for agreeing to the terms and conditions on the backside of the blackboard. Oh. That's a lot. I better, I better read this. Alright, so, we're gonna go ahead and take a break while I read the terms and conditions. So, everything is... Alright, 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 we'll move on. We'll move on. We'll move on. I don't get it. 
how is this a scientific equation of any kind? It's just scrambled numbers and letters, like those you see on an online form. It's really difficult to get settled down on this train with these crows crowding the place. They keep interviewing me about everything I hey. do. Hey. Am I in your personal space? Good. <laughs> All these bottom moons are just gibberish. <laughs> uh, that's great. Alright. You there. Hello, Express Owl. Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be a superhero? The most important feature of a superhero is the name. Every superhero needs an intricate name to their fame. If you were a superhero, what would your name be? If entered on an online form with standardized account identification requirements. Okay, my, if I, my superhero name? Uh, easy, I think about this all the time. If I were a superhero, because I, I do wish I was a superhero, my superhero name would be... Bernice. That name is great. I can already imagine it. The mighty, the mighty Bernice, Bernice, savior of justice. Savior of justice. I'll just write your answer down here, real quick. All right. Express owls all have parts of our body we're ashamed of. This is why some owls choose to pluck their feathers. Which body part of yours are you the most ashamed of, fellow Express Owl? Uh, easy. My feathers. Ah! I see, it doesn't work. I'm just gonna do beak. As you see, I too am an Express Owl. Oh, poor Express Owl. You shouldn't be ashamed of your... <laughs> but you better get your... <laughs> checked out by a doctor. Checked out by a doctor. I read online. It could be a sign of bird flu. Don't even joke about that. Bird flu is serious business. Some things you just don't joke about. Never forget bird flu. Epidemic of... Whatever year that was. Ice yawn! We got three of them! <laughs> Let's go to the conductor piece. But I'm not going to be able to get anything else because I don't have the ice hat yet. But I can go into the VIP room because I'm super special. You there! Wait! Owl. Don't come in here! I lost my contact lens somewhere. Please don't step on it! I can't move out of the way. I might step on it myself. Sure, you're not just guarding it. You just have to worry about your contacts. I totally get it. I'm just gonna take this giant key. Present for me? Detective hat! Watch out for this crime solving detective. Ooh, the phone is ringing. And thus begins. The murder mystery. Ooh, Jimothy! Let's get a little bit of lay of the land. <gasps> Jimothy, how could you? I, 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 merda! On my Owl Express! I can't 
can't believe someone would murder one of the Express Owls! And I can't believe even more that it's your uncle's sister! What do you have to see for yourself? Ooh, you're Silent me always, the Jimothy. Treatment, eh? You have to That's speak now, I'm or else they're gonna automatically I'm accuse you. you. Leave this case to us. We're Kaw, the Crow Agent Watch. We've been monitoring everyone on this train since the last station. We'll be searching the entire train for evidence. No one is allowed to go outside of this wagon. What? I can't even walk around in me own train! Oh, how dare ya! Once the clock hits midnight, we'll get off at the station with the murderer in cuffs. Stay here while we investigate further. One owl hour left. Which is much like human hours, only... It has the word owl in front of it. Oh, those caw picnics can't tell me what to do. I bet they committed the murder and are destroying all the evidence. Timothy, speak to me. You can talk to me. It's me, Hat Kid. Remember how I got you through those GED classes? I drove you to your GED classes. You can talk to me. I know you didn't do this. I'm going to find out who did. I hope no one goes into the VIP area and accidentally steps on my contact lens. Oh yes, you're no longer guarding the VIP area. Good information to know. I'm out. Y'all should have monitored that area. But you did- oh, no, oh, 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 let's not get caught being dumb. Into the rec room. Crowfidential. <laughs> gotcha. All right. No cheating. Don't be a stinker. Mustache. <gasps> Mustache was here. That's oddly. That's a very oddly specific poster. Can't really tell because I got my detective's cap on right now, but you know what the hat looks like. You've seen enough of the let's play here, I'm assuming. Unless you're just joining us for the, at this particular moment in the let's play, in which case, uh, th thanks for joining, but weird. This is like 20 or 30 minutes into episode two. All right. Anyways, let us continue on. Gotta get that key. Dun, 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 dun. Myself a key and we leave so gracefully, so elegantly. I'm assuming I need to get over to that next room. Don't worry about me. We're running out of time. Are you just watching specifically watching that door? If that's the case, I will just jump over here then. So you think you can just sneak around the train like this? Just drop the detective hat. You'll never catch the real murderer. <laughs> you can point your finger at someone without clues. The clock is ticking. Will you be able to find enough clues to point your finger at the murderer? Don't worry about me. Just your humble Sherlock Holmes ripoff. That is number two for our brewing yarn, which means we only need two more things of brewing yarn to get our brewing hat. Huzzah! Then we'll be able to throw explosive, deadly explosive potions at stuff. And that's just, just a lot of fun. Ooh, one more! So we only need one more brewing yarn. That is weird that two of them would be in the same room. But we only need one more brewing yarn. And we'll be able to throw explosive potions and stuff. 
Stinky hat. All mine now. Found bag of seeds. Claim before I eat them. Lost one bird cage. I need it for grandma. Get it because they're birds. Quit reading and get back to work. <laughs> have you seen this egg? <laughs> Three people apparently have seen it. Three or four. Can't tell. I don't know how to. I, I don't know if I can take one. I can't take one because I'm in sneak mode. But I haven't. I haven't seen it. Unless the picture counts. Don't have the frost hat, so it doesn't really matter doing that there. I think I'm starting to regret not doing this mission without the frost cap. But we are already this far along, so we're gonna keep on keeping on there. Oh, 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 do, 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 do. That was unfortunate. I shouldn't have dropped down. Alright. The VIP lounge. This is just like Metal Gear Solid 2 when they're when they're uh, watching the Metal Gear Rex. Rex or Ray? I believe Ray is the second one. Can't remember. Yeah, Ray. Yeah, they're watching the instruct the Navy is watching the instructional video for Metal Gear Ray. In the one mission you get to play a solid snake. That was I mean, that's still I love that game so much in Hideo Kojima and the whole series. But it was just real disappointing to play that one mission and then Oh, you're riding the rest of the mission. I'm so hyped for that game. And again, it's still a fucking masterpiece of a game and I love it. I just remember the letdown I had as a kid for after uh being so hyped to play more, more as a solid snake. Oh, here it is! Perfect segue! I was talking about Metal Gear Solid, and here we have the Metal Gear Solid reference. Alright. <laughs> I love that. That's one of my favorite references in this game. Uh, there's my key. I'll go ahead and get that. If I can actually physically get it. Oh, that was way too close. Got a file on the crows. Both the... All these rooms are locked. Can't go in there. Oh, I don't have the uh, one more piece of yarn, and we'd be able to get that. Disappointing. All right. Well, we're just gonna bounce on out of here then. We still have some more files to get. This room. Ooh, that was way too comfortable. So I said to her, don't go into the store. There was a giant fire. Are there any files in this room that I just missed? I don't. I think so. Probably could make it. But I'm not trying to uh, figure that out, you know? Probably mistaken. No, oh, it was right. There's one up here. Alright. 
Sneaky beaky. Uh, press this old button. See what's behind door number one. Half an hour left. Or oh, it's 30 owl minutes, sorry. <laughs> oh, I forgot just how much this is. Metal Gear Solid. This is Metal Gear Solid 2. This is the opening mission of Metal Gear Solid 2. And I just. Uh, so much nostalgia, and I just love this so much. Alright, I got another key. And they're watching nothing. Very 1984. All right. There's like a bar area in the boiler room. That's weird. I don't know. Oh, well, who am I to judge? Seen your ugly beak. Because that's the end of the thing that I answered. It shows up when they, uh. Yeah. I've never seen such a terrifying. Got myself a key. Can't get back because I don't have a nice cap yet. We're definitely gonna have to, uh. Get that. We might, we might have to go back to the Mafia Town. Uh, running out of time and I only have two suspects. This is not very good right now. I am not enjoying that. Can't get up here. Unless, no, it will not let me. Alright, so, I need to make my way over here. And so there are all watching there. Get up here. Let's be in here. Tell me there's a suspect case file over here somewhere. I need some sweet, sweet case files. Where's the sweet, sweet case files at? There's one. Ooh, there's one. And it's... <gasps> Jimothy! I hope it's not you, Jimothy. I'm trying to prove it's not you, but... You never know. This is a tough line of work. Sometimes you have to just... Forget about family and... Just do the right thing. That's why I became a detective. My sense of my moral code. And now it's in movement. Alright. Do not go in that room yet. Ten. Good. Good. Into the sauna. Man, this is the life. Nothing beats a hot sauna. Did you ah! No, don't worry about me. Don't you worry about me. Oh shit, that was... <laughs> they won't notice me here. It's the perfect disguise. I am the floor. I got my key. I wish there was another. I don't think there would be any case files in here. Ooh. I don't think there would be any case files in here, considering it's a sauna. And they would get damaged pretty quickly up in here. Just like uh, the great DMX once said, y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here. Up in here. Y'all gonna make me go all out. Up in here. 
up in here. Y'all go make me act a f oh no, that's not good. Y'all go make me act a fool up in here. Up in here. Y'all go make me lose my fool. Up in here. Up in here. Thank you. Alright, today's specials. Hair stefado with onions. Sautéed rat with sweet potato and pears. Meal warm, meal warm macaroons or macaroons with blueberry compote. Beer on tap. House brews. Ask. Wonder if they even got pecan got omelet fried chicken. Chicken ass. It's all birds. They're cannibals. They're cannibals. Oh, kids menu is all like, it's all eggs. I like that. <laughs> all right. Put back on my detective hat because I got some more detecting of detectiving to do. No ring a ring ding. You don't wanna. You don't wanna taunt me, killer. Dun, 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 dun. The final room. The secret file. What is inside that hat? Hamburgers. Candy. And I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna go with the state of Utah. <sighs> the owls. The express owls. I knew it all along. Those bastards. Let me get to the bottom of this. All right, so I got four pieces of el uh, four pieces of evidence. Didn't get all of them, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, I haven't done this mission in a long, long time there, and it was one time. I see. No, uh, we couldn't find any conclusive evidence. Unfortunate. We have no idea who murdered this owl. What? So you've got pickle to solve the case? Who's the murderer? Which one are you, dead at? Is it this schmuck? Is it this schmuck? It couldn't be Jimothy. I don't know. The way that one's looking. Kind of nervous. It's like biting his. I guess it wouldn't be teeth. Feathers. They're all kind of nervous. He's the one in the middle. Is the only one that's kind of like, yeah, I don't. Whatever. <sighs> I can't be you, Jimothy. Can it? I'm gonna go with the owls. Did it. It's true. Ah. Ultra detective work. Why? Why murder one of the express owls? We were sitting in the lounge playing card games, and we were having so much fun. Everyone enjoyed the peace and quiet of card games, and Robin wouldn't stop chewing with his mouth open. Seriously. Who chews with their mouth open? So we stabbed him with a rubber knife to get some peace and quiet. What's a what? Rubber knife? Yeah, can I go now? I'm kind of sore from playing dead for so long. This rubber was all a ruse. Bit uncomfortable. Well, thanks for solving the murder, lassie. Not only did you reveal the murderer. You also revealed that the victim was never harmed. And you gave us intense footage for the movie. What? You think I'd let a murder happen on my Owl Express? Oh, think again. That was all just a setup for my newest Owl Express New movie. New Sly Dog. Murder on the Owl Express. Oh, you think DJ Picnic will make a movie that's even remotely as good? 
I think not. Here, take this thingamajig and get out of here. I like how it is always a different name for the timepiece. A mustache girl says timepiece one time. Nah, <laughs> time. I even wasted an entire bottle of ketchup to make this murder look real. That's a lot of ketchup well, in that bottle. Isn't worth it. Did you get like one of those Costco, like extra large bottles of ketchup? Because that is a lot of ketchup on the ground. Like, how many ketchup bottles do you know that has that much ketchup in it? Think proportionate to this world. You've seen how big cans are as they've been thrown at people. That has to be like a bulk bottle of ketchup. I feel bad, man. All right, let's get our hourglass number seven. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that mission. Wish I had gotten all six pieces of evidence, but beggars cannot be choosers. I should have done better if I wanted all the evidence. Jake Reeves is still winning at 600p to 480 for the conductor. Alright, we got the evil forest unlocked. Not sure if we're gonna go check out the forest or if we're gonna go to Mafia Town. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to uh, get the the journal anyways because I didn't have access to the bedroom in the first place. I guess apparently she was just falling asleep watching this dog show. <laughs> It's so mesmerizing. I can't look away. No matter what I do, I just can't look away. Alright, anyways, so we are at seven timepieces now, and we are either going to check out the forest for the first time. We're gonna check out um, Mafia Town first. We're just gonna look through the telescope real quick, see what we got. Now we're taking care of most stuff. Golden vaults. Ooh, and we got a time riff out here. I'll get to show y'all time riffs. Should I have? All right, I'm gonna time. I'm gonna show y'all time riffs first. Okay, it's the one down on the well. I think I have enough time. <laughs> time. All right, let's go to Mafia Town. I'm gonna show y'all a time riff, and then that will call it for this episode. But let's just start the golden ball. Which is just collecting different pieces with the um, vaults, which you get a couple of the pieces in the early, early act. But I didn't really go around looking for the extra pieces at the time. And I'm not going to be doing it this time. We're going for the time rift. Okay, I gotta be think of where I am generally speaking. Let's put down here. But I am, I believe, heading in the general right direction. like right at the beginning where you normally start. Why did I start this mission? I should have started a different mission there. Is that it? There it is. Alright. So, these are time rifts. They're little bonuses that you get. They generally show up in places where you've done a lot of missions already. And I love them because the aesthetic of them is just amazing. The music is fantastic. It feels almost kind of like VR missions for Metal Gear Solid. And, um, yeah, I just, yeah, I love these things.
So let's get started. This kind of almost VHS quality to it on the screen there. It's all ethereal. It's everything in slow motion. It's really these these things are really peaceful. They're really nice. There's a little stress in the actual, like, figuring out what you're doing, but I've always really liked these kind of things here. I played a lot of these in Devil May Cry. Which I will probably be streaming in the future at some point. I thoroughly enjoy the Devil May Cry series. So that's something to look forward to. All right, let's get pieces. New color. No, I'd rather go for new hat design. New remix. Uh, still want to get a new hat design. Hat flare. There we go. It's not my favorite hat. I actually kind of prefer the main hat to this one. But hey, it's new, so we will rock it. We'll probably end up changing back though. All right, letting us know we got the Evil Forest mission. Got our eighth timepiece now. And that is going to wrap things up for this particular episode. Uh, thanks for sticking around and watching this. I hope you all find uh, these Let's Plays enjoyable. Um, if you haven't already, consider liking and subscribing. That would be much appreciated. Everyone here at Alien Art School, we always enjoy to see things grow and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, hope to see you at the next episode.